Hey YouTubers and welcome to this performance test on Sniper Elite 4 using two GDX 1080s and SLI KBD 7700K. We're going to do an extreme test at 8K and we're going to use render scale at 200% and we're at 4K here. I could have done it using DSR but I ran into a few problems recording and it was kind of buggy. So we're going to use the render scale to push us to 8K and here are the settings. And let's go. And here we are using DX12 two 1080s. I've overclocked the two 1080s. The cable lake is at stock. And we're above 30 FPS at 8K. I've never done an extreme test at 8K using DX12. But then Nvidia does see a gain over using DX11, so. I always seem to get the eye shots. Uh oh. So the GDX 1080 Ti was announced and I will be testing that card. I'll be getting two of those and testing them in SLI. I mean if I'm already getting 30, 40 FPS and 8K with two 1080s. Can't wait to see what two 1080s can do. 1080 Ti is going to do. Whoa, okay, 32. Still about 30. 29, 28, 27. Now these tests are just for fun. I know no one plays at this resolution, but it's kind of cool to see what today's tech is capable of. Oh shit. Should we stealth kill this dude? Can I do it? He's gonna turn around, isn't he? Or I'm gonna get spotted. Why would you run away? Oh, what the hell. Think they know I'm here. Oh shit, yeah. Dude, run. Can I jump? Wait, what am I doing? Oh shit. Just able to get him. Around here it's pretty demanding. 28. I'm gonna get shot. I usually do these tests with all the games, but a few new ones that have come out are not too hard to run, so. Yeah, I did this with For Honor. I want to try this with uh, Resident Evil too. Oh, I got him! The <laughs> second time I've done that. Okay, go for three. I don't think so. Oh no. So there it is. If you want to see any other game sets today, let me know. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.